All right, today we're gonna to be waxing skis. I've got one of my skis laid out here. It hasn't been waxed in a long time. It's pretty scratched up. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of base repair work on it. Not a ton. We're gonna clean up the edges and then we're gonna wax it. Get a nice smooth finish on this. Now the reason we wanna wax our skis is one, to protect this base material. Uh, this base material, if it gets too dried out and doesn't get enough wax on it, it'll start to get this fuzz on it. It's called snow burn. Also, the wax is gonna lay down on top of the micro grooves. There's a bunch of little micro grooves. I don't know if you can see in there, but <laughs> aside from all the, the scratches on this ski, there's a texture on this and the wax fills in some of those grooves, the channels are gonna stay. We're not gonna totally remove them, but the wax lines all that and creates an, a reduced friction surface for this to slide over on the snow. It'll also help us uh, turn better, have more control and go a lot faster. The edges get scratched up and dinged up as we ski and we wanna make sure we've got a nice sharp edge so that we can carve and corner and turn really well. And the base, if it gets scratched up, there's a pretty good groove right here and some dings right there from rocks and stuff. Obviously that's gonna create more friction. So we're gonna fill some of those in. We're not gonna fill them all in, but we're gonna fill some of the bigger ones in. So follow me, this is a three part series, edges, base, and wax. Okay, so let's start out by talking about the gear we need when we wax our skis. What I've got is uh, basically I bought a kit, a tune kit, and I have a few extra things in here that don't come in the kit, but you can find these kits on Amazon. There's a link in the description, so go ahead and check that out. The most important base things that come in the kit, are some good ski wax. So we've got some extra wax here. This is just a universal wax. That's all you really need if you're just a regular skier. If you're racing, you're probably not gonna uh, end up with this you'll go with some other stuff and you'll probably have a shop wax your skis anyway so no worries you'll also need an iron so this is a ski iron and it's a nice small surface and it has a temperature dial on it see that comes in centigrade and fahrenheit that's one of the main differences between this and your regular clothing iron you can use a clothing iron but i don't recommend it part of it these have better temperature control. They're gonna hold the temperature right where you want it and you can control it based on temperature, not on fabric type. This wax doesn't say turn to cotton setting. It says turn to whatever degrees and it's not on that front page, but you find your temperature settings on your wax and use your ski wax iron. Other things that are gonna come in your kit, you're gonna get plastic scraper and this is just a you know, polycarbonate, I think, scraper. It's got a knockdown edge groove on it for uh, doing the edges. We'll show you that later. But it's got some nice sharp edges to scrape this. And what else comes in our kit? You get some brushes. This isn't a brush for the ski. That would take a long time. This is a brush actually for our edge tool. Stone. So you can brush all the sharp pieces off the stone because you don't want metal files or metal shavings to get into our base. This kit also comes with a couple options, a stone, a metal file, we'll talk about later, a metal scraper. These are all for base and edge work. Right now we're just gonna talk about waxing. Comes with a scotch Bright pad. These are cheap. You can buy these outside of a kit, obviously, and I would recommend having a bunch of these handy of varying coarseness. You can get hard, medium, soft, but you'll also want a brush. This is a stiff nylon brush. It is uh, not ski specific, but we're going to use this to brush our skis. You can certainly get ski brush kits that come with like three different types of ski brushes but um, to get by at home, I find this works just great. I've also got this here. This is um, 
basically a pack of degreasing citrus base wipes there you can just wipe this off you can get base cleaner as well but citrus base cleaner works uh, just fine and it's usually cheaper um, also I've got here some Ptex candles these are used for base repair work and we'll show you that in one of the next episodes but for waxing all you really need is your wax your iron and your plastic scraper and a couple different types of brushes so this brush and this as a final buff so oh also you're gonna want a couple rubber bands you can buy uh, specifically made rubber bands for ski waxing I just find these around the house or you can get these off of like broccoli or asparagus at the grocery store so that's the gear you're gonna need let's jump right into it okay so the first step is to set up this base and you can use a lot of things to set up your base. I'm actually using this vice clamp and some two by fours on my bench to support the tip and tail of this ski. You can get fancy clamps if you're gonna do this a lot. I don't really recommend it unless you have a dedicated space for ski waxing. And I'm using my workbench out here because we're gonna make a little bit of a mess. If you can see here, there's wax and there's other stuff from doing lots of skis out here. And you don't want to do this in your kitchen unless you can lay down some kind of uh, painter's cloth or something to catch all this wax because it'll make a mess. So first thing, we mount this up, support it on the tip and the tail, and then we're going to grab one of these rubber bands. And these are brake retainers. So we're going to pop our brake down and just wrap this rubber band around the binding and clip it on to both brakes and that holds the brakes out of the way so we can do our work the first thing i usually do when i get a ski up here like this is i'm going to check the edges i want to make sure that the edges don't have any burrs or nicks or sharp spots or dents or things like that so what i do is i'll start out by taking just like a scotch bright pad and i run it all up and down the edges here back and forth and I'll do that on both sides. And what I'm looking for is anywhere that this catches or snags. That indicates that we've got an imperfection in the side edge and we need to clean it up. So this one, actually, there's no snags. But if there were, um, there's a few things we could do. We could do just like a spot check with, with my edge stone here. So let's say there's a, a burr here. We could just kind of go back and forth. And clean that burr off and then check it again um, if it's pretty bad then we'd want to clean the whole edges up and i'm actually going to do an edge tune on this ski today it's been a long time since i've done it so we're going to do it and we're going to use our edge tool right here so this comes as a guide you can see the stone is all set in here and the stone has two sides it has a diagonal groove side and that's kind of a lighter grind in one direction and then it has the diamond pattern or scale pattern that's going to give you a rougher grind and we're going to use this first and then we'll go to this and you're going to insert it so that that side is pointing down and make sure when you do this that you don't have a bunch of metal shards or uh, shavings in your edge tool if you do clean it out really well and this kit has this little brush that's used for that so get it clean and then you're going to put it in this has two sides one side is 88 degrees and the other is 90 so depending on how you want to cut your edges you're going to do that and we're going to use this surface right here to cut these edges and we're going to do both the bottom edges and the side edges on that you can get grips that are clamps that will hold your skis in place. I tend to just kind of hold it with my hand. Probably not ideal, but I'm not chasing any world records on my skis or anything. So um, line this up and they all work a little differently. Read your instructions on how to use this. But basically what you're going to do, starting from the tip, and you don't have to do this surface that's 
that's uh, sloped upward, that's really not a working edge of the ski. It's just once it starts to get flat and you're just gonna pull that towards you. And when people worry about taking off too much or not enough, the best way I, I like to know if I'm taking off enough is you can take like a Sharpie marker and just color that in black. And then when you scrape it, you want to take off all the Sharpie marker. This actually has a little bit of rust on it right now from uh, last season. So I'm just scraping off the rust as much as I can. There's some pit marks and things, so I don't want to go too deep, but just get a good shiny polished looking edge across this whole thing. And I like to work just from front to back. And after you've gone a few strokes, what you want to do is clean this out because what you don't want is the metal files that you're scraping off. You don't want to embed them in your base because that will mess your base up. Okay, so I've gone back to about the break here. I'm going to just finish off to the tail. down I'm gonna go again starting from the tip and just go down all the way again same thing you can hear that cutting right making a nice smooth finish surface here all the way down Okay, now I'm going to finish by just flipping this over, getting a little bit finer surface going here. And just, it does basically the same thing, but it's just a little smoother, it cuts in one direction only. Like that so we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then what we'll do flip the stone again and then I'm going to do the outside edge the top edge so to do that just hold the ski like this Make sure we got the same angle here. And then we're just gonna go on the edge with the base as our guide. Just do the same thing. Start again up here. pass here probably you want this to feel nice and smooth no rough patches there's some rough patches in there that rust okay Flip our stone over. Let's see, that's got quite a few shavings on it now. So while it's out, I'm just gonna clean up the stone. All right. Let's go over with this edge. OK, 
Okay, so that is an edge. Did one edge, I'll do the other edge, and then we'll be ready to look at our base.